My name is Sofia Binti Azri, I am from Malaysia and this is my feedback video regarding the STIC pro uh, conference program that took place on the 15th and 16th of July. Overall, it was a really great and fun experience, especially for a first timer like me. The way they taught you everything you needed to know was nice and, nice and slow. It was really fun too, so even if you knew nothing, you pretty much pick up everything really quickly. And besides that, it was really refreshing to see people from every well, from different parts of Southeast Asia come together and apply the concepts that we learned into their brilliant ideas to overcome problems that are happening in their countries. Um, it was really nice because not only did we learn about STEM concepts, we also learned about the cultures of different Southeast Asian countries through many different fun ways, like some, some of them were dancing, some of them did fashion show. It was a really nice way to end the program. Um, overall, like I said earlier, it was a really fun experience for me. And I think students should join an event like this so that they can engage more into STEM related uh, activities and also apply what they learned to make a better future for the country or maybe the world. Thank you. Hello, I'm Emma. And I'm Sarah. Today we'll be discussing on about our experience on going to the stick competition. Okay. We learned many new things and we also enjoyed making new friends from different different countries such as the Philippines, Brunei and many on so on. And we also enjoyed exploring the Tar MC building. Sarah? Yeah. Also, we also enjoyed uh, checking out other teams' uh, exhibitions. We uh, enjoyed them very much and we thought they were very creative. Thank you. So we would like to say thank you to everyone at the stick competition and to the organizer as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rehana. I'm a Form 3 student from SMK PVP Satu, Malaysia. So recently, I've joined State Conference. What I like about this is that I've got to meet people from other countries. I get to learn more about their culture. And it's really nice. Uh, the people there are also really friendly. Another thing is that uh, I get to see people's ideas. All their ideas are very innovative. And I also get to see like take a glimpse of the problems that they face. Like for example, well from what I remember, Philippines, one of their projects, right? Uh, they they noticed rural rural areas barely had electricity, so they thought of this idea where it's like a water Ferris wheel. It it will like every time it moves, it will transfer that movement into electricity, and I thought that's a very innovative thought. So if there's gonna be another event for a uh, first state conference, which is next year, I hope that I can join again. And whoever wants to join, I would recommend you to join. And lastly, I would like to give a huge thank you for the teacher who recommend me to join this as a Malaysian representative. Lewski from SNK Pusat Bandar Putung Satu. I would like to share my experience during the state conference. What I like about the state conference is that I got to meet so many cool people from other countries and to see many of the crews 
but also innovative ideas were totally amazing. Lastly, I would like to give a huge thank you to my teacher for giving me eh, for giving me a chance to join and represent my country for state conference. If I have the chance, I will definitely join state conference again next year. Hello there, I'm Mrs. Tan from Dua Pesha and for me right, this experience with state conference, it was really amazing and not like something I experienced before. It was definitely something new but worth it. I learned a lot of new things like problem solving, you have to solve the problem like pretty fast, think of a solution in seconds, which really helped a lot for my brain to think faster. And yeah, I definitely enjoyed this day conference and this, that was all for me. Yeah, thank you. Hi, my name is Kavindra and I'm from SMK Pusat Mata Puchung Satu. So in this, in this video, I would like to share my experience in um, state conference. So state conference is one of my favorite um, favorite thing that happened in my life. Uh, so thank you so much for Miss Chung for <clears throat> for like selecting me and my best friend to you know re represent Malaysia. Yeah, it's of course it's a big thing because representing Malaysia and me me and my teammate took um, bronze medal. We made magnificent flipper flapper, which is an um, electric car that can fly, like move around. So since there's a jam, traffic jam in Malaysia, so that's the only solution for it. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much to everyone who supported my magnificent flipper flapper. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Akila from SMK BBB1 Malaysia. Recently. I joined a really exciting event called the Stick Conference and I'd like to share my experience there. I had so much fun in this event and I got to learn more about their cultures and the problems that people face in other countries. All their ideas are good and innovative concept. I also learned how to work with others and for me, this is an important attitude that we should all have for a better future. Thank you to my teacher, Teacher Chu, for giving me participate in this event. And I will definitely join it again if I given a change. So that's all for my video. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Azim for SMK Pusat Bandar Pujong Satu. I am from two. I want to share with you about what I have learned at State Conference. I have learned how to define a problem, now to do a research and also able to create something like car in the traffic jam. I have joined knowledge from the person who can uh, share many ideas with us. And finally, I really enjoy learning all the above. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is Chin Lee Joon. My experience at the state conference was extremely enjoyable. What I learned at the state conference was very unique and extremely interesting. The next time I get the chance, I will join again because I felt that the experience was very worthy and it helped me bond with my friends and I made new friends there. So I will join again next time if I have the chance. Hi, I'm Tanushia. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Malaysia and recently I joined STIC conference that was held at Tower UMT from 14 to 17 July. So I learned a lot of things from this conference, especially um, how I can manage my own groups, ways to solve problems in my own countries and etc. The thing I like most about this conference is how I could learn about problems from my country and problems that are in other countries which really expand my knowledge. Besides that, I knew how to solve it through different techniques taught by the facilitators, who were also very friendly. And we, I knew how to prototype an invention and present it without actually you know, stuttering, which is something that I struggle with a lot. So this conference really helped me to boost my own confidence in a way and also improve my own personal knowledge. I also got to meet a lot of different people from different countries, which was really nice because I got to learn about the people's different cultures, especially during the cultural performance, which was very fun. So I'd like to join this conference again next year and I would love to learn more 
hopefully win more awards or medals and improve on problems in my country and other people's countries as well. Thank you. Hello, my name is Muhammad Ehafiq Rosli and I'm from the school SMK Pusat Bandar Pochon Satu and I'm 13 years old this year. Last week, I joined a STEM conference called the STIC conference and today I will give my own opinion about it. In the workshop, I surprisingly a lot learned a lot of stuff about te technology and other stuff. The, the people there were also kind and friendly. I also made a lot of a lot of new friends there from other countries. Also, the teachers there were really kind and gave me their own opinion of how I can make my project better. And I and I hope I can join it next again next. First of all, big thank you to Ji Chong and the host or organizer of this event, Kira and Ta UMT, for allowing me to join this event and to learn a lot of stuff. One thing that I learned that is the most important is uh is that how to solve our country's problems and uh for say climate change and the poverty problems in our country and teach us other I I also learned uh, that uh I also learned uh, other countries culture and how they talk how they how they talk to each other and a lot more this is, but this is the most important thank you hi i'm aishresa from smk pusat bandar puchung satu and i'm a form one student and recently i joined an event called state conference um it's really exciting. I had so much fun in this event and I got to learn a lot of different things. And I'm not gonna lie, it made me think differently from how I used to like think. <laughs> um, I got to learn more about other cultures. We had culture performance. We could we get to talk to other people from other countries i made new friends from other countries it was really fun um there was philippines brunei cambodia me malaysia um what else did i forgot indonesia <laughs> um anyways it it was really fun i loved working with my teammate it's a new thing for me. It's my first time joining the state conference. Um, uh, and I also learned how to work with others. I like 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 in a teamwork because me, I like working alone, but this event made me working with other people, which is teamwork. And it's okay. like I like working with other people more people more new ideas so and i also because i learned how to work with others for me this is an important attitude that we should all have for a better future and thank you to my teacher for giving this opportunity for me to join the state conference and if there is a state conference next year which i hope there is, I would totally join. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Janani. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Malaysia. And I attended the state conference on 14th to, on, to 17th July. The conference was a very interesting experience for me personally as I got to learn um, effective ways on how I can solve my problems and find solutions to them. And also the facilitators were very friendly I met a few new friends from different countries. It was quite fun, actually. The food was good, and um, the cultural performance was probably my favorite part overall from the whole experience, as I could see, witness all of like the ways that different cultures celebrate their own traditions. It was quite fun, actually, and then for me to share my own traditions and cultures with the with the rest of the other countries, it was quite fun. I enjoyed it. 
Yes, thank you. Bye. I'm Isaac Leong, a Form 4 student from SNK PBB1. First of all, I would like to thank Teacher Chong for giving me the opportunity to join the state conference. During the conference, I've witnessed so many eye-opening things. For example, the cultural performances, where I get to learn about the cultures of people from other countries. Not only that, but I got to see the problems that they face in their country and honestly, I really like all of their ideas. In my opinion, they were all really good and their ideas were all really creative. So yeah, that is all I want to share and I would really recommend people to join this. If, if I was given a chance, I would definitely attend the C conference again. Thank you. I'm Yuri Jin from Tree Pasture and I'm happy that I can attend this tech conference. Through this event, I have learned many things like solving problems and uh, finding solutions in multiple ways. Besides, I also learned to think things in various perspective perspectives. Thank you for all the teachers that provided guidance and support. I hope I can uh, attend more attend more type of this event so uh, thank you hello my name is Simbin Ryan and I was a participant for the stick competition and I'm from Malaysia and my school is SMK Pusat Bandar Puchung Satu so uh, in stick I learned a lot I learned how to innovate stuff and uh, in stick it made me realize what's the problem in my country and um, stick really helped me to understand the potential I have in me and what are the possibilities, there are endless possibilities in the future and I was the one who made uh, the flying car, the magnificent flipper flapper and uh, I got third place for it and, I, and a certificate and I'm very thankful for the um, organizers and also Miss Chung for letting me allow, I mean allowing me to participate in this competition so thank you to the organizers and a special thanks to Ms. Chung. <laughs> Today, we would like to enlighten you about the ways of the culture of Malaysia. There are many types of local fruits that are favorite of Malaysia. Malaysians. The first one being the queen of fruits. Another type is durian, a spiky pungent fruit that also doubles as a weapon. Rambutans are also widely enjoyed by the locals. Fruit, by the locals. <laughs> Malaysia is very diverse in cultures and traditions. A famous game often played by Malaysians is the wild bulat, which translates to moon kite. Malaysian art forms comes in Malaysian art comes in many forms, even through textile art. One of these cloths is called Songket or Songkit. It's a tunnel fabric that is hand woven and is decorated and intricately patterned with silver threads. Moving on, another art form is the Malaysian Batik. Originating from the east coast of Malaysia. The method of making Malaysian batik is different from Indonesian batik because our patterns are bigger and we make the patterns through chanting or wax and it's decorated with dye. For another popular traditional game played by locals is chongka. Its name believed to be derived from the old Malay word chongga, which means mental calculation. A game loved by children is called batu serumban, which is usually played in it's usually played in groups of two or individually. There are many interesting places in Malaysia that have been famous amongst tourists and locals alike. The most well-known one being the Petronas Twin Towers, as you can see in the slides over there, located in the heart of Malaysia, which is Kuala Lumpur. Another well-known place is Batu Caves, which is a Hindu temple surrounded by limestone caves, hence its name. You can see it in the slide. 
Furthermore, the Kekgokshi Temple, situated in Penang, is a Buddhist temple which gains tourist attractions. It's the largest Buddhist temple in Malaysia, and also an imp important pilgrimage center for Buddhists. Finally, the last interesting place that we would like to share is the Sky Mirror, which is located in Kuala Selangor. It's named after its mirror-like reflection of the sky. The Sky Mirror is a mysterious island that will only emerge for several days every month during the first and the fifteenth day of the lunar month, as well as four days before and after those dates. If you ever have the time, you should definitely visit all the places mentioned earlier. <laughs> there are many other locations you should check out and you have definitely seen so many cultures from all your countries which are way so interesting. One, two, three. Thank you everyone.